Leading out the parade is the Police Department from Cannon Falls and Chief Jeff McCormick. I was telling everyone thanks for putting off the weather for a while, Jeff. We appreciate that. From our local VFW, we have people. Thank you, gentlemen, for your service. We appreciate it very much. Grand Marshals for this year is Jim and Sharon Wynell, the uh, Gemini Corporation. Gemini is the leader in manufactured letters industry for over 40 years. They started in St. Paul in a small place up there and decided Cannon Falls would be a great place to go. They have been supporters of the fair and keeping the buildings painted at the fair for years. Jim and Sharon are wonderful people. Cannon Falls has a great support staff, the EMTs, which of course are marvelous to have. We do have some staff on call at all times on, on premise. In case something comes up, you don't have to call somebody at home and wake them up. They are at the public safety building. There are three of them. We kind of take them for granted until uh, something happens and you're laying on the road somewhere and uh, they pull up. And that situation happened a couple of times way out in the country. It's nice to see the lights coming. And speaking of EMTs, ahead of the EMT is Brenda Vashalik. She has a wonderful crew of people that keep everybody safe. <laughs> Don't pick that one up, that one's empty. What is this <laughs> Part of the public safety department is the fire department. And of course, this is not current equipment that they're pulling down the street. This is some of the old stuff. And we have a, a whale of a dedicated staff for the fire, uh, the fire department. They are always available, whether they have a job or are off or sleeping, they will come out and make a run And the Altas come along and drive the big old fire truck. The list of the fire chiefs going all the way back to 1893. You're probably familiar with some of them. <laughs> Cannon Falls has some of the most progressive and advanced and current equipment of any of the small towns around. And they don't just work right in Cannon Falls area. Sometimes they're called to help out in Hampton, Kenyon, Wanamingo, Randolph, a lot of the towns close by. It does take a, a lot of personnel to man all this equipment. And they need to be cross-trained all the equipment also. So it's a big responsibility. A lot of things going on that they have to know about. Plus, a lot of times they are first on the scene in an accident and they have to know first aid and first response 
So if a fire truck pulls up and you're waiting for the ambulance, there's probably somebody on that fire truck that knows what they're doing. And just to make sure that you stay out of the way, those sirens are loud. And speaking of, speaking of Randolph, here is the Randolph Fire Department, and it's the Randolph Hampton Fire Department now. A lot of times if we have a call here in Cannon Falls, we will call on the Randolph Hampton Fire Department, and they will, they will come to assist. They too have some of the finest equipment. For small towns in the area, we are covered with any kind of tragedy. <laughs> any kind of tragedy that comes along. Including loud horns and sirens. Oh. 
The Juan Mango Fire Department also comes to assist the Cannon Falls Fire Department when they have issues here. And we are grateful for all the help. Thank you, Juan Mango. We appreciate you being here. We appreciate the help from the fires, too. Parallel partners from right in the area, we're glad to see you. Thank you very much. Drive, driving an old John Deere, love it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in the next block, they'll be here in a second. Usually they have go-karts or motorcycles and it kind of looks like it's a combination of both. This is the Shriners. This has got to be the strangest looking contraption I think we have ever seen here. But they have a lot of fun. They take care of sick children. I would call this Big Wheels for People. It's an adult big wheeler if you ask me. Watch out now, watch out. Now, who do you suppose, let's give them a big hand, a round of applause down there. Thank you very much for coming, guys. We appreciate it. You and your zany mobiles. Daddy-O's, oh yes. And who do you suppose prayed for rain today so those vehicles would spin out like they do with the big wheels? Caring and giving, Shriners. Some of you remember 1964. That's what the tractors looked like when they were brand new. Because the current Goodhue County Sheriff is retiring, Paul Gilo is running for the job. I'm not sure which one of these people he is, but he's probably running around. There he is with the yellow shirt on. Thanks for wearing something different so we knew who you are, Paul. Take care. Good luck. Make sure you get one of these little stickers that looks like a badge in the state of Minnesota. Being a sheriff is not just sitting behind your desk having a good time. It's out getting amongst the, uh, the bear. <laughs> and speaking of sheriffs. Hey Scott, why don't you have your uniform on today? Vacation day? Okay. Thanks for coming though. In case you didn't notice, that's a retiring sheriff right there, bringing up the back. 
Altaf Hardware, right here on Main Street. By Gullah, if you need anything, and I mean anything, you pop into Altaf. If they don't have it, they will probably get it for you. Mitch and his wife took over ownership from John, and they're running the place very well. If you haven't been into Altaf lately, take a look. New paint, new displays, new counters, new everything in there. New people, some of the same people in there. It's a wonderful place to go because if you're having trouble finding something or doing something, they will help you how to do it or show you how to do it. If you get a chance to stop over to the fair, there is free entrance today, I believe. Anytime. Cannon River Catering. My gully, if you've got a big thing going on and you need food, Cannon River Catering is food. Where's Chris? Is he driving the car? Oh, okay. He's behind the trailer. Chris does a good job of putting on the food. He uh, supplies the food for the uh, Cannon Falls Chamber breakfast. Hastings, Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, Ram, almost any kind of car you want is pulling the float or pulling the Boy Scouts and Cub Scouts. Boy Scouts or just Cub Scouts? Just Cub Scouts. I couldn't see far enough down. The organization that molds young people teaches them a lot of things they need to know. This year is a 150th anniversary for Erland Lutheran Church. Their festivities are going on September 15th and 16th this fall. After school starts, 150 years, I'm sure none of you remember that. Well, maybe a couple of you do. From our neighbors over in Northfield, we have the defeat of Jesse James Days. Now, keep in mind, it is not Jesse James Days. It is the defeat of Jesse James. Am I right? That's kind of a sore spot with Northfield people because he was defeated there. Jordan Andreas, Hannah Malika, and Emma Peterson with the junior, junior ladies in front. That happens the weekend after Labor Day. A couple of uh, John Deere's, the old and the new. the Cannon Falls Jazz Band, am I right? Pep Band. I'm sorry. I must have read that wrong. Hey, it's the Pep Band. Thanks. Hey, you know what? We appreciate you guys playing. We love it. Thanks for being there. Cannon Valley Fair, I think I mentioned that before. They are on right now. And today is free admission, as I was talking about before.
Don't forget, it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of people and there's a lot of food, ladies and gentlemen. There is food, food, food. Goodhue County Dairy Princesses are here. Kyra, is it Kyra or Kira? Kirsten, Visef, Catherine Keller, and Kate Rieksegal. going on. Need a place to go on Sunday morning? Plenty of parking. Riverwood Church Kids Summer Adventure. When does that start? Or is that all summer? Say hello. Here it comes. Hurry up, you're getting farther away. August 6th to the 10th. Kids Summer Adventure, August 6th to the 10th out of Riverwood Church. Uh. Driving all the way over from Red Wing, we have the Royal Ambassadors. Mackenzie Ruin, Ashley Knowlton, Josie Lapagard. Ashley. Ashley, did you know your great grandmother is here watching? Did you know that? Did you see her? Your great grandmother's back there? Barb Haley running for the house. We need people we can depend on. I was mistaken on Ashley's great grandmother being here. It's not from Red Wing, sorry. Barb Haley's our representative. We're going, trying to be a representative for the house. Hey, 
you take a look at this tractor pulling this motor, that motor or that engine used to pump fuel on the boats that were on Lake Superior. Now you look at a fuel pump in your car and you look at that fuel pump, that is a fuel pump. Wiker Realtors, who used to be or still is considered Carnal and Company, they've been around town for a long time. If you're looking for a house or an apartment, ah, uh, yes, you probably read about this in the paper. They wanted to get married at the fair. Number one, there's lots of food to choose from. Number two, there's lots of people there. How'd the wedding go? Good, glad to hear it. You must be the mother. The mother of the groom said the fair went wonderfully. Congratulations and many more fairs for you. H, Cloverdale 4-H Club, established in 1935. So some of those people that are 4-H'ers back then uh, probably have grandchildren, maybe great-grandchildren. <laughs> well, we appreciate you taking a picture from the front and not from the, uh, oh, you okay. Beautiful team of Belgians. If you want some nice horses to pull your little cart around at home, you could get some of these. Of course, you need a big farm, a nice big barn to keep them in. You need three or four people to hold them around, and you need to have a nice big carriage. But thank you for <laughs> thanks for coming. We appreciate it very much. That's a lot of work loading those horses in a trailer and getting them here. Marty Kelly is running for sheriff. And where is Marty? I don't see him around. Bringing up the rear, okay. I hope so. Like I said, being a sheriff is not an easy job. It's administrative, it's running things. It is a lot. How are you, Marty? I'm good. I forgot you were running for What do you mean? Well, when's the last time we went off the copy, huh? Eight years ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. Marford, vote for Marty Kelly. That's him. And he has three children to support. Wait, no, wait a minute. How many children? Five. I was thinking about the triplets. No, five in college. Marty Kelly is also looking for a part-time job, too. It's nice to see your brother coming out to help along, too. Marty has triplets. I remember when they were born. FFA, my gosh, if it wasn't for FFA, what would we have? Nothing. One of the state representatives is on the float, right? No, state no? Wrong one. Wrong sister. Randolph FFA. Agriculture is a backbone of America, and that's very true. <laughs> 
If you need a part-time job, they're looking for school bus drivers. Hey, Marty, they're looking for bus drivers. Cannon Falls Schools, they need bus drivers. If you have some time and love children, If you have some time and can bear children or put up with them, it's a good job. And for a part-time job, the, the pay is pretty good. St. Pius, another one of our Lutheran churches, outside town on 19, east on 19, finding joy in our journey, happy, happy campers. Great, thanks for coming. Are you checking on the weather on your phone there or are you just talking to your mama? Okay, neither one of those. A lot of things going on at St. Asker, as you can tell by some of the signs there are the Knights of Columbus Parish Council, decorating team, funeral lunch group, that might be interesting. Oh my gosh, St. Pius, and they're not Lutheran. I'm so sorry. <laughs> my apologies to all the St. Pius people, and my apologies to all the St. Anchors people too, I guess. The Cannon Falls Community Band, hard-working group. Being towed by one of the island trucks from Hampton. Cannon Falls Community Band. Thank you so much for playing. Thanks for being on your, aren't you glad it's cooler now? If you play an instrument, ladies and gentlemen, the Cannon Falls Community Band is always looking for volunteers. They would love to have more people there. Cannon Falls FFA. Thinking outside of the barn, start doing that. Leadership Engineering, Career Success, Technology and Science. And they must do music too. Start thinking outside of the barn. FFA is a wonderful organization. Frontier Egg and Turf, located south end of town, has vehicles like this, which I'm sure you could probably rent if you needed to, or they would probably sell you one. Of course, in order to want one of these, you're gonna have to have a big farm with lots of field space to take care of.
Frontier Egg and Turf. That's the kind of vehicle you probably wouldn't have parked in your driveway if you live in town. But if you got a big farm with big fields, it's almost a necessity. One of the other candidates running for Goodhue County Sheriff is Josh Stair, and that must be him right there. He's in the red shirt, but so is everyone else, so he's, he's the one waving. Good luck, Josh. In case you were wondering, the parade has a different route this year. It is eight blocks shorter than it was last year because of construction on the east side. Cannon Cruisers, with some of the many vehicles that they have, and you'll notice they look pretty shiny and new. They aren't also new, but they are shiny and bright. There's been a lot of hours and time and sweat and other terms of endearments that have been put into these vehicles. Sometimes they take the whole body off and restore the whole thing, which means taking all the rust off and painting them and then putting them all back together without having a bunch of parts left over. And I suppose if I asked for a show of hands, there'd be a few people that have done a project like this and had some parts left over. Some really nice vehicles there. It's older, it's nicer. You don't see too many Mustang Shelby Cobras. Good Hugh Lions Chicken Barbecue coming up next month, August 19th. From what I have heard, is some of the best chicken around. Everybody do the chicken dance. One of the newer businesses in town is the Real Deals Home Decor Place out south of town. That is located in the Artisan Plaza. You may want to take a run out there, look around and see what they have, the clothing, furniture, almost anything you can imagine. And that's anything. Pine Island people have come down today too, and that must be the king. Are you Luke? Okay, Pineapple, Pine Island Cheese Fest which is the first weekend in June. We've already missed it, but next year we keep looking for it. Goodhue County Attorney has to be elected, and Steve O'Keefe is one of the ones that wants to be elected. 
Again, I would imagine that's not just sitting behind your desk doing nothing, is it, Steve? Being on the computer playing games? I'm good. How are you? Appreciate you coming all this way and bringing your entourage. True North Church from just the north side of town, uh, close in by over, by over by the old Dakota car wash that's not running anymore. It's right across the street from there. True North Church with Scott Wildenberg and his crew setting sail with the Holy Spirit. Come aboard! And this is for VBS, I would assume. Ah, okay. Church. Again, lots of parking. Oh. It doesn't say when VBS is. I got two. Here, here. August 13th to the 17th. Thank you. And another car, 1950. Some of you will remember when they looked like this. I mean, this car looks like it used to. Scott and LeSueur County Dairy Princesses. Princesses, co-princesses. Ah, nice. Wow, you came a ways, didn't you? Thank you, we appreciate you coming all this way. Have a good day. Don't forget fireworks tonight. Jerry Quam, when you go talk to him, you just say, nice to see you back. Driving a 57 Bel Air? Yep, okay. Is it really? <gasps> the Clown Mobile! And look at that clown sitting in the front seat. Oh, oh, you're. By golly, once again. Oriental Lodge 34, which is right across the street from here from us, the Masons in Cannon Falls since 1860. The clowns have a lot of fun. It's not always an easy job because you got how many pounds of makeup on, you got those outfits on, and you gotta try and be funny and happy and still not sweat to death. So we appreciate the clowns. Need a hobby or something new to do? Try painting. What does that say? My... My Artful Garden. Look it up. Google it. You'll probably find out a lot about it. County commissioners also get elected here in Goodyear County. Brad Anderson is running. Brad's been in there now for one full term. 
and he's coming back to try it again. He'd like to try it again, so if you vote for Brad, Brad's a heck of a fella. He's, he does well, he's very informed, and he actually presents himself well, too. We appreciate that, Brad. The Dakota County Fair, which is adjacent to us over in, it's in Farmington. It is the first full week in August, August 6th through the 12th. Decent fair, been there a few times. He loves the fair. From the little town to the south, Goodhue, Minnesota, we have the princesses. Elise Tipke, Monica Atkinson, Ashley Clemens is Miss Congeniality, and Miss Goodhue is Mary Ponsolet. <laughs> Ashley, did you know your great grandmother is here? Did you know that? She's right down there. Well, maybe we can have him turn around and drive back by again. Are you gonna be down at the Vesa Parade? Ladies and gentlemen, if you want a real kick, go to the Vesa Parade, it starts at 2.30, I think it is. You'll get to see these girls down there again. You will not know they are the same girls again. It's a real treat. I won't tell you too much about it, you gotta go see it. Volkfest King and Queen, or Kurt and Maurice Truce. Thanks for coming, appreciate it very much. He got a new siren for Christmas. <laughs> Cottage Grove Strawberry Fest coming. No, that's, when is it? I lost the date. When's the Strawberry Fest? Third? The third weekend in June. Oh, man, we just missed it. But next year, put it on your calendar. Here's all their dancing royalty. Cottage Grove is a bit to go. It's a long drive with a, with a float coming behind you. So we appreciate you coming down. Thank you very much. St. Mark's Lutheran Church out on Highway six, uh, 56 is having their annual feast and festival. It used to be called the Hog Roast. It is marvelous. They have food out there like you would not believe. They have a, a heck of a crew that does it. That's coming up August 5th. If you get a chance, stop out. It starts at 11 o'clock. If you want to get a little religion before you go, the church starts at 10 o'clock. Welcome, welcome. River Valley Golf Trails, which is Gopher Hills. A very unique place to play golf. If you notice, Red Wing Country Club and Clifton Highlands Country Club is also in there too. A World War II actual Jeep with a wagon, and I suppose that's supposed to be a cannon sticking out the back. We're hoping it's not. The honey wagon from Void Septic Service and Goodhue comes along to 
let us know. Let us know there's another alternative. They brought along one of their own garbage trucks, too, from Goodhue Countryside Disposal. Put the two together, and you have full service service. Iron Horse Express, if you need something big, shipped, or hauled, or moved, look it up, Iron Horse Express. If you Google it, you'll probably find it. Lots of weight can go on one of these traders, and they've got the equipment to do it. One of the few banks, well, one of the many banks we have in town, First Farmers and Merchants, which has a location south of town on 4th Street, and also, which I find very convenient, at Econo Foods. It is open seven days a week, so if you need to deposit your check before you go to work on Monday, you can do it Sunday <laughs> after afternoon before 2 o'clock. Wonderful staff of people, they're very helpful. They'll take your money, no problem, and, 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 and they'll invest it for you, of course. Angie Craig is running for Congress. In case you don't know which one is Angie, you just look at the lady that holds the arrow that says, Meet Angie. She's trying to keep up with Angie. And it looks like Angie's in pretty good shape doing all the run around she's doing. And mixed right in with Angie, you'll see Lori Ann Clark running around here. She's running for House of Representatives. So there you are. You got two people to vote for right there, right next to each other, if you're of that persuasion. Both are nice people. Lori Ann is from right here in Cannon Falls. You probably know who that is. I mentioned before, one of the newer businesses in town, in downtown, is Antiques on 4th. It's right over on the corner of 4th and Mill, right next to Altaf Hardware. They did a real nice job of decorating and making it look pretty. Now, we can work on the awning for next year. Paint! Paint would be nice, we could get it painted for you. I would like to see him distribute candy with that little claw. Custom cut tree service. That's not for your bigger cheese, but I'll bet it'll take care of most of what you've got. Custom cut. If you need something moved, some logs taken out of your backyard, some trees cut down. Give them a call. Google them.
Custom cut. Remove your trees, trim your trees, get rid of the stumps, get rid of the limbs. The whole enchilada. Give them a call. They're right up in Hampton. It's close by. Treefaller.com or Google them a custom cut tree service. Short drive. You better start getting your reservations in now because I'm guessing that they probably are going to be pretty busy this summer. Bauer roll-off service. If you've got a lot of trees to cut down, you call Bauer and they'll bring one of their, their drop-off boxes over and take care of it for you. That's Aaron Johnson up there on the seal coating trailer. <laughs> Schaefer window and siding. By gully, if you need some new windows, siding, soffits, fascia, anything like that, give them a call. Make your house look a lot better. Just want to remind everyone, when you leave, be sure and pick up all your garbage. Don't leave it for the city to do. It makes it look really nice if you pick everything up. If you see some candy, grab it, but uh, if you don't need it, there's garbage cans spaced all over. Island Trucking from up in Hampton. They are award winners for the paint jobs on their trucks. Some beautiful jobs. See where towing has a number of tow trucks and wreckers in the area. Depending on the type of wreck you have, they probably have what you need to take care of it. They're stationed out of Red Wing, and they do have a full crew. I believe in some of the small towns, they have a, a wrecker that they leave in the town. So if there's something that happens, it's fast response. If you need somebody for towing, Give Seawards a call. We appreciate you all coming out on daylight today for the parade, ladies and gentlemen. It's been wonderful. My name is Will Burley. I live right here in town. Happy 4th of July. And bringing up the end of the parade is the Prank family. Wait a minute, are they all family? Family and friends. Family and friends? Family and friends and horses or family and friends the horses. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> Thanks for coming. How warm is it up there on the horse? 
Not so bad. Okay, don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, there's things going on at the fair this afternoon. Free entrance into the fair. Fireworks start at dusk. Thanks for coming. Pick up your garbage when you leave. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Drive carefully, and we will see you again.